Hey everyone, today I'm going to be exploring the popular Terminal 21 shopping mall here in Bangkok, Thailand. Now its name is Terminal 21 because the concept is that each floor of the shopping mall is supposed to represent a different tourist city and the number 21 comes from the street which this mall opened under. That's Sukhumvit Soy 21, right next to the Asok metro station. Today's date is Thursday, March 7th, 2024. The time's about 2.30 p.m. Temperature is 96 Fahrenheit, 36 Celsius. There's actually four different Terminal 21 malls. Two in Bangkok, one in Korat, and another one in Pattaya. This is one of the most unique shopping malls I've ever been to. This one opened in 2011. You see even the escalators, they have arrival and departure signs. We just departed Rome and now this is the Caribbean. Terminal 21 also features the longest escalator in Thailand. We'll be riding that as well. It's actually pretty ingenious for the owners of this mall to have a concept like this, being that this is pretty much the center of the tourist um, hotels and places in Bangkok. There are a few uh, food options here on this lower level. But by far my favorite place to eat here in this mall is on the fifth floor, the Pier 21 food court. The prices there are really reasonable for the food you get. I like this theme with the anchor and the palm tree. Oh, 
We're going to go to the Paris level now. I was reading that the Terminal 21 Pattaya location as well as the Parat location have a replica Eiffel Tower inside. And this, my friends, is the longest shopping mall, I mean, uh, longest escalator in Thailand. Goes right to level three, Istanbul. You can see the uh, San Francisco cable car all the way at the top. There's a Tokyo level, a London level, San Francisco city street level, and San Francisco Pier 21. And it really does look like Istanbul a little bit with these tarps and decorations. Beautiful chandelier. There's a replica of San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge here. Well, I guess San Francisco and Marin County. That's the northern end of the Golden Gate Bridge. Here in Bangkok, I found that many of the great restaurants are located inside the shopping malls. It's really like a big uh, Japanese restaurant area.
Right now I want to take you up to the fifth floor. I'll uh, make my way down after I finish this floor. This is the food court, Pier 21. Basically how it works is they do not handle cash at the individual food stalls. You need to go to this counter here, give them your cash, and then they'll give you a preloaded card with the amount that you gave them. And you can always redeem it for the remaining balance after you're done. You keep that card and you scan it at each of these uh, stalls once you order the food or the drink. But it's really incredible here. You can get main dishes here for less than a dollar if you want, US. Right now the exchange rate is 35 baht to one US dollar, so you can just see how relatively affordable everything is. Many dishes are below 35. Hello. Thai basil. Hainanese chicken rice. I've eaten at many of these stalls. Don't scoff at the food because it's in a food court and you think that it's not good quality. But they are. It can be a little bit challenging to find seating, but they have a lot of it. Including in the back there, there's another area. There's also a counter here to load your card if you want to or redeem it. It's actually a smart way for them to do it so they don't have to um, handle cash and get their hands dirty. I see a few empty tables on this section. Fresh coconut, only 35 Thai baht. That's a fair price. Same price that I see on the street in a lot of places here in Bangkok.
can see here they have the uh, sea lions of San Francisco's Pier 21. A reference to that. Actually, there is another level I can take you up to. Oh, if you want outstanding Thai food, you can go over here, the Savoy restaurant. I ate here twice and they were both very, very good each time. I did a review on my first ever Thai experience here. Level 6 Hollywood. This may seem familiar to you if you follow any kind of U.S. media. So if you miss the Hollywood sign, it's right here. walk a little bit through here, the San Francisco city street. You know, now that I think about it, where I was before, the area that said like, it looked like a lot of Japanese restaurants, that was a uh, replica of San Francisco Chinatown. And I knew I saw those lanterns before. They had the similar shape and design in the real San Francisco Chinatown. But there is a uh, level dedicated to Tokyo. If you want to step inside a San Francisco cable car, you can do it here.
Got some great Japanese food here. Premium meats. I don't think we really need to go through the Istanbul level that much so I'll go to the next level which I believe is London or Tokyo London is next. A city which I had the pleasure of visiting in November double-decker London bus although it'll be way too wide for a typical London street They even have replica signs from London of its streets. They have a mock <laughs> red London telephone booth here. The Burlington Arcade, which doesn't really seem too much of an arcade from this mall. The real one was full of shops and um, bright lights and everything.
the Japan level, Tokyo. Well, they even have sumo wrestlers on the column there. Very creative. Like the samurai outfit. Let's walk a little bit of the Paris level.
All right, everyone. I'm going to be ending my video here. Really hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Terminal 21 shopping mall here in Bangkok. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone, take care.